there was these people, this husband and his wife were on a train. They were taking a trip. And the, there was a man sitting across from this couple. And he noticed the, the lady was well-dressed. She had on fur and jewels. And, and, um, and, but she was complaining. The train is drafty. The food is just unedible. And the service, appalling. Now, her husband looked like an amiable sort of a guy, but he was uncomfortable. And he, you know, probably he had planned this trip as a vacation and, and was disappointed with how she was responding or reacting to it. And um, the stranger, uh, well, the, the man, the husband, said that he was a lawyer, introduced himself as a lawyer, and that his wife was in the manufacturing business. And this is where he made a mistake on the trip. The stranger looked at the wife and thought, she doesn't look like an industrialist or a CEO of anything. Uh, what does she manufacture? And the husband said, she manufactures her own unhappiness. And you know she manufactured some happiness for him that afternoon. <laughs> but it's true. We manufacture our own ha unhappiness. We can say, oh, but they make me angry. It's the boss. It's the this. It's the that. And, you know, it's very challenging what we're talking about here. This is very challenging. And it takes a lot of responsibility. But we will never make joy a habit until we realize that people can say things, things can happen, and they can trigger things in us. But ultimately, the buck stops with us. We are choosing our reaction to what people say and to situations in our life. And until we really understand that, we can't really make joy a habit because we'll constantly be blaming external circumstances like the people on, in the restaurant or, or the boss or whoever it might be.